So today, <laughs> I just woke up and I thought like, mm, what video can I make? And y'all know how I'm always late with the videos with uh, different holidays or whatever. So I'm about to try to do a look today pertaining to Valentine's Day, which I'm gonna use this palette. I do not know, my honeys, what palette this is. My friend bought two palettes and gave me one of them it has all the nice cute colors i think i'm gonna use this red this pink and then this is a lighter pink okay i don't know we're about to wing it and we're just gonna go for it okay i don't really have anything in mind of what i'm doing i'm just about to do it i don't feel like i'm really gonna talk through it because i just want you guys to see this transformation for what it is and um when we do more like tutorial type makeup videos that's going to be just dedicated to you know uh wings and uh what else blending and stuff like that okay so leave me some comments below and let me know i know one of my honeys said they want to see me do the wing or whatever so um, I, I will not incorporate that in this video because it will take too dang on long. Y'all know how I am. I get to talking to my honeys and all type stuff. So, all we're going to do is just watch this transformation. And, um, if something is important, I will come in, chime in, and let you guys know. But, leave a comment below. Let me know what specifically you want to work on as far as makeup. I know, uh, one of my honeys said they did want, like, a full coverage look type of thing. So, with the whole shebang, you know, the contour and the highlighting and all of that, we're going to get into that. But today, it won't be the day, my honey. So, I have washed a few of my brushes that I know I will be using for this look, my honey. And I'm talking about a few. This is a lot, okay? But I won't be using a lot of these big brushes or whatever. It's these small brushes for me. Let me take them out. That's a cute, like, little tiny blending brush. I love that for my looks. It's a dense type of uh, blending brush. And this is a big, fluffy uh, uh, blending brush. It's very dense as well, so I like to pick up my color with this and pat it on, and it just pats right on instead of having to go into your color 10 million times just to get what you, you're looking for. This is like a flat, dense um, I call it the under eye brush, okay? But it's also good for cut creases and all that when you're trying to get your color in there. But I like it so therefore I could pat on my color underneath the eye and all that. But if you're trying to get like deep in these little corners or whatever, it's nice and dense for that to pack on color without having to keep dipping into the colors. So, any type of dense brush, my honeys, will definitely pick up that color better and help you to pat it on. Blending brushes. These are like blending brushes. And these are coming different sizes too. So this is like a medium sized one. Okay. I showed you a super small one already. That's like my medium one. And uh, I don't have name for these brushes, my honeys, because they're nothing spectacular. That's why I'm just showing you brushes. Okay. But um, this one is a Safari 1205 or whatever. But it has two sides to it. So we got that blending side and then we got this side this is like a bigger blending brush that's way bigger than that one and this one will be the one I would use to kind of mesh all the colors together like when they would say use a clean blending brush and blend everything out I would use this one for that or whatever and then this is the flat brush this is good for brows, cut crease, however, you know, this is just flat and then it has that point on there, my honeys, and that just helps you to get that cut crease right and perfect. It helps you to get up in the brows right and perfect. So any type of flat brush like that will be perfect for things like that. And then this is like a dense, a dense fluffy type of brush. It's very dense. I like to use this one for my contouring, like when you hit in the nose area and you're trying to blend that out. 
and all of that. I like to use this for that, and I also like to use this for when I'm trying to darken up my outer corners of my eyes and give me that cat eye look. And I just pat all that brown or black right there. So I'd be using this for my dark shades, whether it's contouring or the outer corner. This is another, could be a cut crease or for your brows. This is my Hilda Beauty Brush, my favorite of all times. It's very chippy, so I don't know what name or whatever. And then it also has this blending side where I use. So I basically use this brush for my brows because by the time I draw on the concealer, I could take this point here and get in there and pat it. And do you see how flat it goes against my skin to actually get as close up to that brow as need be? These are considered pencil brushes. They got different sizes of these too, my honey. This is very dense, and this is real good to get up under there like this. And you can also blend with this one since it's a slight bigger than your usual one. And you can hit off in them corners if you're blending out. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm about to try to do something creative enough that that will work. The ones that has that slant to it, these are shadow brushes. So you dip into your shadow and you can hit in that corner with that slant. And, you know, get off in there and do that. So, I use these for blending as well, my honeys. I use it for whatever it could be used for because it's still a brush, okay? I like to look at the density of brushes when I use them for blending and patting on color and stuff like that. This is the tiniest brush that I have. And it's it's like a, it's dense. And it's like a, um, a, like a pencil brush. And it's skinny. So it wouldn't be, I couldn't use that to kind of um, blend in and, you know, do all that. So this is real precise of what you want to do. If you really want to get in that corner with a cut crease or something, and you just want to hit it and don't go above the line of the cut crease, you can use this just to get off in there. But it would take you forever to try to fill in the whole cut crease with this little brush. But it's very detailed. Little brushes are great for detail, okay? So if I'm trying to get off in this inner corner right here and hit something just that one spot, and the other brush would be too big to do that because if I only wanted it right there and use this big brush, it's gonna put it everywhere. So that's why I just love me some little brushes. I don't even shop for big ones no more. I look for these little precise ones so I can actually get a look that I'm trying to go for. Here goes some more blending brushes. These are blending brushes. They're pretty medium. Some blending brushes come denser than others. Some come softer than others. I like to use the nice, good, dense ones to actually blend those colors out, okay? I will use a nice, soft one to actually blend colors together. So once I got everything on there, I go in with that little one that's going to blend all the colors together, and it will be a soft one for me. These big brushes, okay, they come more handy for when you do your whole makeup look like. So if I was doing the contour and I put it along my cheek, I would use a nice, good, dense brush or a sponge, okay, to pat it on there, pat it up and all that. And then to kind of shade it out and make it blend with the concealer that will be here or the highlight that will usually be here, I'll take it and do all that with that just to make it all blend and mesh. And that's what this, these big brushes be good for. They're good for blush. Sometimes I just take it and dab my blush and do like that. And then you got your um, your uh, highlight brush, the sparkle. I will use this for my little highlights on my nose, up that middle. This is where I put my highlights. I put it on my nose, up the bridge, above the lip, and on these cheeks. High cheek, right under my eye. I don't go all down here with it. But when you take this brush and blend all that together in that area, it's all gonna come down up wherever it's gonna go. But since you only put it there, okay, it's gonna kinda go a little below that or a little above that and it's still gonna be stationed right there. Enough about that, you see how I always go into some extra stuff. We just trying to do the look. I just told y'all I was not about to do nothing. Wasn't even talking, but here I am talking. So guess what? We about to get into it. I did show you a couple of the brushes that I'm definitely using. And I'm gonna start with my brows and I got my spoolie brush here and I'm gonna brush them up and then go through all that. You already know by now what I use for brows, which is this. And today we're gonna use this 
uh, Pro Concealer. And this one is not Parcelain. This one is called Ferris. So this is even lighter than the Parcelain. So I do want it to shine out because whatever color I put, I want the colors to stand out. So that's what we're doing.
And at this point, my honeys, is where I feel like, you know, it started going wrong for me because I had all of that makeup just around my eye like that. So my eyes had started tearing real bad. I could not finish the whole look out, but I did finish the look out, but I couldn't take no pictures. I couldn't actually wear it, nothing, because my eyes started tearing so bad. But I'm chiming in because I think right here is the problem. You know, I'm using too much product and then not even allowing it to dry. And then I move on to the next thing. And then my eyes just like, girl, it's too much going on in here. And some of this got to go. <laughs> so pretty much that's, that's where it probably went wrong, my honeys. But a little bit goes a long way, my honeys. So you don't need to pack all of that concealer and stuff around your eyes like that like I'm doing right here okay you only need a little bit because that little bit will cause for your um colors to stick to it and all that I was just going in you know so that was a learning lesson for me and I'm not even gonna say a learning lesson for me what I'm gonna say is that you know the older I get the more these eyes get sensitive no. <laughs> ain't that right man so pretty much that's what's going on. Like the mind's about sensitive now. Yeah. So it's like I can't use that much um, yeah. product anymore, you know. So yeah. I just have to start taking it light, my honeys. Put a little bit on and tap it out and spread yeah. it instead of putting a glob of it right there above my yeah. eye and then trying to spread it.
Okay, my honey, listen. This is it because it's not working for me. And my eyes, my inner eyes just keep tearing and cracking. I done fixed it too many times. I just, I'm tired. And every time I touch it, it just mess up more. Yeah, my honey, so I'm done because I keep trying to, and I'm like, okay, when I throw the lashes on, maybe it'll be cool, but no, it's not. It's just a mess. It is beautiful though. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. Mm. But then you get over here, <laughs> like, no. See, this I kind of show the vision. I love it. But it's, when I started doing it, my honeys, I have really just woke up. So my eyes tear so bad in the morning when I wake up, like run, 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 that it takes a few hours for them to just be calm and settled, right? And I didn't wait. I just woke right up and I came and dived straight in to do it. So here it is all day. It took me to do this because I'm like, oh my God. I stopped, I went and cooked because I felt like, okay, maybe um, I could let my eyes get a break. I come back to fix it and it's like, no, it's not working. If you could see how many Q-tips I have right here, just trying to go in and dab it and make sure it won't be one more, it's just still not helping, so. It's them in the corners for me, honey. <laughs> it's just not working. Look, if I go in and touch it, it's peeling away like that. What the heck is going on, right? It's wet. That's what it is. It's wet. And look, the more I wipe on it, the more I just wipe away. So I'm done. That's it. <laughs> I hope that this so far was cute, my honeys. It is pink, red, and a lighter pink. And then I hit it with the white. And then I did the ombre color for the wing or whatever. And then I tap tap some color in that uh, point part so that it won't just be looking like it's coming straight down. I just tapped and blended some color out. And I couldn't even do no shine or nothing. I just couldn't bring the whole look out because it's not working. And there's no point when I'm probably about to have to go wash this off. So leave me a comment, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> <laughs> what you think and I could just went on ahead and play with it you know how many cut creases I did with this I did that one and I did two technically it will probably be like three because this one was low-key a cut even though it was it ain't the crease but you know I did so many articulate things this part of the video <laughs> I will see my honeys on the next one <laughs> the next one <laughs> Bye guys, love you guys. Sorry, this is so much of a fail, but this was what happens in the real world, right? We gotta deal with it. <laughs> mm.